MLB The Show is a PlayStation Studio game, but most people might play it on Xbox. This year's baseball hit continues the trend we've had for a few years. Yup, it's on Game Pass. This year's game plays and feels somewhat similar to last year's, but there are meant to be close to 400 new animations. The gameplay feels slightly more refined. All the big modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty are back with some minor tweaks. For the first time ever, you'll be able to play as a woman ball player in Road to the Show. This mode also gets a new draft combine sequence to start out your career. The big update from last year's Storylines is also back and this time you get to relive Derek Jeter's career. Now let's get to the meat of this video MLB The Show 24 on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PlayStation 5. This game's the exact same size on all three consoles 97.3 gigabytes. Normally the sizes are different and it's really the first time I've seen a game the same size on both Xbox and PlayStation. Loading from dashboard to the main menu is also similar on three consoles, taking 33 seconds on the Series S, 35 on the X, and 34 seconds on PS5. Once you have your lineup set, starting up a game takes only 9 seconds on PS5. The Series S and X are a bit slower, 16 seconds on the X and 22 on the smaller S. This game does also have activity cards on PlayStation 5, but Xbox will that has quick resume which in my opinion is a much more powerful feature to instantly get back to the game. In terms of the graphics, the game more or less looks the same as last year's. The player faces do look slightly more accurate. Lighting is also improved slightly this year. On the Series S, the resolution is 1080p while the Series X and PS5 are much higher, closer to 4K. I would say the lighting and the shadows look the best on PlayStation 5. Now let's talk about the frame rate. All three consoles target 60 FPS, but it's all over the place really. There's constant up and down. The cutscenes and replays is where all three consoles struggle. I would say the Series S struggles the most, while the PS5 has the highest and most stable performance. During the core gameplay, when you're actually controlling the player and putting actions, I mean all of that that does reach 60 for the most part. It's really only the in-between cinematics where the frame rate drops, which I guess is okay. But when half of the game is cinematics, like in this case, it might be an issue to some. The thing is, baseball's a slow-paced game. It's not like NBA or FIFA games. So I don't think the drops you get here are that problematic. Most people won't really notice them much. The drops in MLB 24 also aren't as bad as 23 or past games. In 22, 23, I was seeing drops into the 20s in some cases. Now, if you're looking for a winner here, the PlayStation 5 is clearly the better performer. It's not surprising since this is a PlayStation Studio game and would have been optimized as a priority on the PS5 before being ported to Xbox. So that's what you need to know about MLB The Show 24 on Xbox Series S versus Series X versus PS5. This game's also on Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch. I will do some more coverage of this, especially on the portable Nintendo Switch. For the rest of the video, check out some more gameplay of MLB The Show 24. 28 years Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it across. One up, one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singing, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. If you can get the ball up in the air. So... Bulbashet batting with one down takes a strike. A half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent ball. One down, base is empty. That's the third. A sliding stop. Gathers and throws. Nicely done to work. Base knock right field. And Derek G. Leading off. 
for the Yankees. He's Derek Jeter. He's looking for his first hit here at Yankee Stadium. Well, these poor fans haven't had much to celebrate this year. It's early in the season, but the Yankees aren't winning as many games as they would hope. Maybe this good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're... Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout, make that four homers in the inning. And they add a couple more. It's 7-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. And now Austin Wells. And it's through for a hit. Waste no time there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole. Altuve feeds the second out there. You get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was I'm looking for right, something right. else, anything but the breaking ball. Austin. It's a great pitch to hit right there Long if you're way. looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two-strike count, but sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Riley Aye. stands in now and watches strike one. Aye. That one catches the zone, 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today, no doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves. Back here, Citizens Where Bank Park. Now goal. here is Johan Rojas. Strider back to work. Turned on, but foul wide of third. That one to first. And Olsen oh. is set down. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Austin Riley. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and they take the lead. It's 2 1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Power versus power, right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here.